up? It's your boy 360. Jeezy, I'm here with my man Ezekiel. I don't Ezekiel Ellis? Like no, like like Ezekiel like the Ezekiel Ellis? Boy, if you don't get so the what? In this video right here, I did a fade high top. The curls was on top, but it wasn't too curly. It was a little nappy at least, but it was dope on the blend side. But I'm here with my man. I'm at the barber battle right now. It's your boy 360 no, Jeezy. Hold on, he shout out your Instagram and all that. Ezekiel Vardis. Ezekiel Vardis. Go follow him. The link will be somewhere right here. All right, somewhere right here on the screen that it will be. All right. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, before you start any haircut, you want to make sure that you comb the hair down and pick the hair out, just so everything is neat before you start cutting. Using my Andy Slimline Pro Li, I'm going to be setting in my first bald line. Now I usually start a little higher on the bald line. I usually start at the curved part of the point on the side, um, but right now I'm starting in the middle. Now the reason why I'm starting in the middle because I want a greater transition. Um, my blends before are really, you know, short stacked. So I kind of want to, you know, do something different, switch it up and start doing longer blends. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to take you guys along the journey on the way. I'm going to be setting my, my guidelines a little thicker than I normally do. Now with my wall magic clips, uh, these are modified to be balding clippers. So right now I'm balding out the rest of the bulk at the bottom. Using my Andy shavers, I'm just making sure that the bottom is razor bald. This creates another transition um, and it just makes everything look that much more cleaner uh, of a transition, especially when the, the bottom is real bald. Using my Oster's Fast Feeds with the lever open, I'm going up about an inch and I want to say a little bit more than an inch. Now, I don't know the exact amount, but it's a little bit more than an inch. And uh, for, for those that want to know the difference between open and close, open is basically when the two cutting blades aren't meeting at all. All right, they're furthest away from each other. Using my one guard open, I'm going up that same amount, about an inch, and just a little bit more than an inch, and uh, keeping everything consistent, making sure that I go over the hairs more, multiple times so it could all be that same length. Right now, I'm not gonna use my two guard. I'm just gonna drop it back down 
with the one guard closed and I'm just flicking out that middle line uh, keep in mind that this is not gonna gonna take out this bottom line it's just gonna soften it, things up so you could come behind it with the next guard and uh, just make sure that you uh, use that flick out motion when you're doing this uh, step Dropping down to the zero guard closed, I'm gonna flick out that middle line. Now, for those that wanna know what closed mean, closed mean when the two cutting blades meet each other and there's, it's basically, you'll get the hair as close to the skin as possible. Open is kinda like a shadow, closed is bald. So that's what I mean by open and closed. I'm adding a step, usually I don't do this, but if you really wanna perfect the blend, you're gonna have to sometimes do this. I'm dropping down to the lever open and I'm flicking out what I couldn't get out with the zero guard closed. Now with the lever closed, flick out that bottom line. Notice how I'm starting kind of towards my client's temple and I'm going back down um, and just making sure everything blends in. You don't wanna, you know, I didn't wanna add that curve line, so I'm kind of blending the front out so it kind of, you know, fades in evenly. But I will be opening and closing the lever as I go because you can't not, get it all with just the lever closed period. You're gonna have to open uh, the lever a little bit. Now with my wall magic clips, I'm gonna freehand the top. Um, usually, I do use a two and just run it straight up. But on this one, I felt like, you know, the hair blended pretty nice. So all I needed to do was dig in with my, my balding clippers and just go straight up with it. And it's all gonna blend in together. So, and you guys will be able to see that as I continue on.
Right now I'm putting in my clips just to create a front line for my client. Um, I do this so that the line can look real crispy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb a little bit of the front down and uh, uh, I didn't do it on the camera but I use spritz to kind of hold it in place and um, that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just, you know, putting a little bit of hairs down and then I'm just gonna tap it with the liners and you'll see how crispy your lineups will come out. You don't wanna grab a whole lot of hair uh, from, the, from, the, from the afro, you know what I mean, from the high top. You just wanna grab a little bit Right now I'm just taking out the duck clips, I'm going to pick it out and I'm going to freehand the front. this is the cut and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and snapchat my Instagram is 360 Jeezy my snapchat is Jeezy 360 but it's your boy 360 Jeezy and I'm out of here Cheers.